everyone, I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing Bickering Book Reviews. Today we are talking about, I'm going to get it wrong, Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Abertali and Aisha Saeed. That is correct, right? I think. And if we mess anything up, let's know. Yep. Um, and I got this off of Edelweiss. Let's see. So this book takes place in Georgia, um, and it is about Jamie, who is 17, I want to say. And his family is getting ready for his sister's bat mitzvah, but his cousin is also, like, deeply involved in a special election that's going on for state senator. And so he's been, like, pulled into this, and he has to help, like, canvas and do different things. Um, at the same time... Hmm? Knock on door, stuff on lips. Yeah, okay. Yeah. At the same time, you have Maya, who is also 17, who is um, Muslim, and... Her parents basically want her to volunteer, right? I'm trying to remember, how did she get... So, um, Maya and Jamie used to be friends because their moms used to be friends. Right. And, um... They used to basically hang out together, like, they kept calling it, like, a jump yard thing. Yeah. We don't have that around here. So they were talking <laughs> yeah. about... I was thinking, like, Jimbery. And basically, they were both at the same event because... You know, they were selling, oh, that celebrating, was, that's Ram what they it were was. celebrating Ramadan. Right. But they were also having kind of a community interfaith thing. Right. With the with the, with the candidate. Yes. So Jamie there and his family was there with the candidate. Um, Maya and her family were there with because it you know, it was a religious celebration for them and so they connected up. Jamie's volunteering with the candidate. So now it's like, Well Maya should too and I think they want the kids to be friends again. Because right. they don't talk to each other anymore. Um so that yes. was that, that was that bit was, of it all. Yeah. <laughs> And so then, like, so they start canvassing together, and like their feelings, relationship grows, feelings develop, and especially because um, her since her parents have split, like separated, right? She's got the feels, especially because her best friend is going to college at the end of the summer, and she's super busy and has no time for her, right? And Jamie just is like really accessible, like like I feel like Jamie from childhood has been trained how to be there for a girl, like, between his mom and his sister, because his dad moved to Norway or somewhere bizarre. The Netherlands, right? Somewhere. It was, yeah. And they were just like, yeah, he just doesn't come back. When we're over there, he's super attentive, but he doesn't come visit us. I was like, oh. I didn't okay. for, like, my bat, bat mitzvah or bar mitzvah. No, it's kind of a big deal. And so, and it kind of explores, like, them being able to be part of this politics and politics in general and how people view other people. And it also talks a lot about their religions, Okay. It talks about, I mean, yeah, it talks about religions and it talks about Democrats versus Republicans. Yeah. And the political climate of our society. Right. And it's, see, and I think it's our current political climate because I think the book dates itself. I really do. The way that they kind of refer to things and the things that they're talking about, I think it really is very specific to what's going on right now. And I don't necessarily know if it is always going to fit. I don't know, but I feel like you can look back on things. Or be understood. Like, I think if I was reading this book about the 70s, I don't necessarily know. If I would understand, like... I don't know. So I grew up in a very political family. <laughs> and I didn't. So, like, to me... Because I really liked this book. Sarah did not. <laughs> I was... Yeah, I mean... I... I think... I mean, it definitely got me thinking. And I definitely think it's going to be a good kind of book discussion book. Um, and I guess the relationship between Maya and Jamie grew on me. See, and I really like the relationship between Maya and Jamie. And I really like Jamie. I think the hard thing about this book is... Like who do I give it to? Because it is so politically charged... That I can't, if I give it to the wrong person, they're going to be offended. Well, and, like, I wouldn't want to read this book at that age. Um, See, I And it's would. not because it was, not because I would be offended, but just because, like, I think it, it, it really kind of seats itself in that, the political climate. And I think at that age, I was just like, I, I'm looking for an escape and I don't want See, this. and I was, like marching for things and chaining myself and to you know, stuff. So there and are, I mean, so there are readers out there. Volunteering. Like, I, I, I basically did been. what they did for a presidential candidate at one point. I, I wouldn't have been that person. I mean, and I, but I definitely think that it's interesting kind of to talk about how religious religion factors into kind of people being people as well as um, in politics. Um, it also showed... Things like Ramadan in a way that I hadn't seen before. Yeah. Which I appreciated that because I feel like, I mean, I have a lot of Muslim kids in my library, so more books that they can see themselves in is better. Well, and it definitely um, painted a more diverse picture of 
what it is to be a Muslim in America. Um, right. But it doesn't doesn't always look the same, and it can even be different within one family. I think they also did a good job of um, showing how you're like, eh, it's political, it's a law, how's it going to affect me? And the one law that's talked about in this book, they're like, no, it's going to affect a lot of people we know. It might not affect me, but it might affect my mom or my neighbor or something. And I thought that was something, like, kind of like an interesting lesson because I don't remember how old I was when I realized that, like, everybody's connected and, you know, doing something to this person will eventually something might happen to me as well. I think so, and it really, like, what this book was, it didn't bother me. It just, it's what I was thinking about the most is, so they talk a couple of times about how, like, they don't really know what the guy stands for that they're canvassing for. And the um, cousin who's running the kind of campaign is kind of a jerk. Like, he kind of a jerk. He, and he kind of doesn't get it. And so then that just kind of makes me think that, like, yeah, no, we don't want kind of this racist person to be put in power. But I don't necessarily know that just because you're choosing the other person that you're choosing anything better. Like, they might just be the Koopa Troopa that's hiding it better. And, like, so, and I think that really kind of hit home with me as far as, like, it is hard. Because, no, I don't want to elect somebody that, like, it leads these, like, racially motivated um, laws. But I'm not just going to pick the other guy just because he's not racist when I don't know anything about his politics and, like, what he really is. You know what I mean? And so I think... And it's not, like, good or bad about this book. It's just, like, what it had me thinking about. Yeah. I think is really what it comes down to. Yes. Um, I liked the relationship between Jamie and Maya. I wish it had developed a little quicker. Like, I mean, I guess it's more realistic. It needed realistic. to develop a little quicker, I think. And maybe it's more realistic. Well, um, that it he's kind stuff. of awkward and, like... But that's what I liked about Jamie was he was awkward. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was, like, awkward to the 10th degree. Yeah, but I'm awkward. I mean, so. but, like, he's, like, over the top awkward. So I thought it was funny. We should rate it. All right. Our rating system starts at the top with five unicorns. We go down to two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse. I am at... Eh, I'm feeling generous today. Three unicorns. So I'm at four. I enjoyed it. Yeah, no. I read fast for me. So that is where we are on Yes, No, Maybe So. We'll see you around. Bye. Perhaps it's the title. <laughs> Bye.